Oh, I might as well have a cigarette and a yarn to myself as usual. Don't try that at home. That's just a narrative device. Pertaining or not pertaining, I'm insinuating that I don't give a fuck. But I do, really, so I'm not going to burn my <laughs> war, war quality wool and warm blankets because why would I want to do that? Obviously, the ash falling from um, how many inches would that be? Or oh, 12? Um, onto, there's a good chance it's not going to burn, but what the moral of, the, of this um, intro is uh, don't smoke in bed if you um, smoke in bed uh, and you're very young and you don't want to die. <clears throat> um, let me put this here because I love this. My non binary kids, if that's what you want to call yourself, non binary, I'll go with it. If you, wanna, if you want me to hear you out, you hear me out. Because I'm exactly like you, except for. Um, uh, listen. Ah, all you artsy fartsy kids who have amazing le- halls of learning, and, um, and that is documented by the people that line, their faces of the people that line the halls on the walls of learning. Because if they were no good, they wouldn't be on the bloody wall, would they? Is my point. Now, you know what, kids? Stop thinking about the rights of others. You, you, you are children. That's not your duty, is to think about the rights of other people. Your duty is to become a fully formed, rational, preferably spiritual human being. You know, like, um, that's your duty. Like little soldiers of love, you know, not little soldiers of hate. Tin soldiers being moved around by an adult who knows how to move tin soldiers around a lot more efficiently than you, my young friends. Trust me, adults know how to move tin soldiers, even though they're toys for children, tin soldiers. Um, it's a metaphor, you know, um, or an analogy, or I can even speak figuratively and sound like I'm educated. I'm not. <laughs> I wish I went to a school named after a famous big band jazz leader who, um, <laughs> I don't know, changed the world, really. <laughs> what, what else is there more to say? You changed the world because... What you're doing comes from a place of love. Now, you're not going to change the world if your heart is covered, you know, the heart of darkness. Some teacher, please get these kids to read The Heart of Darkness. Um, right. <clears throat> and because I, my cigarette's gone out and I could do with like a thunderbolt. You know the, um, <laughs> actually, it's quite funny. I put this away a minute, kids. It's beautiful, beautiful fabric though, isn't it? What is it? Let me have a look at the label. Just out of curiosity, I don't really care, but we'll see, because everything's labelled, you know? Okay. Small. It's like factory, but in French. So don't, don't be um, conned into thinking um, that it's made in a factory in France. Let's see where it is made. It's got a love heart, and it's very small, because a love heart means um, a, a, a child being exploited. Let me guess. If it's France, oh, I apologise. I can see it, but I, I don't need to see it to make a point. Everyone knows uh, what my point is. If you are an adult, well drilled in the manoeuvrability of toy tin soldiers, I see when you get your tin soldiers at the end of the day of your fucking um, quick sand pit adults, you got to um, maybe polish them off, but not in the wrong way. You um, remove the sand and the barnacles and all the things that will ruin the and the rust because you don't want to leave them in the sand because um, if they're tin. I don't, does tin rust? I hope not. <laughs> if it's metallic, uh, any metal that rusts, I might, I get things wrong. <laughs> It'll rust in the sandpit, kids. So your parents have made a lot of sacrifices for you to buy your, your properly made with... Lo- oh, how dare you do that to me, door handle? I was just trying to go through you. And I will go through you. Organically, on the wood. Through to this shit. But I, look at this. If you've got no vacuum cleaner and, you, and you've got a rent inspection, kids... By kids, I mean someone who's... Barely old enough to leave home. Let's say seventeen. They've got a um, some kind of um, abode in New York City, preferably around Greenwich Village, because um, everyone needs to expand their fucking um their mindset and and diversify their friends. You know, this is what you do without a vacuum cleaner, kids. Get your foot, put some socks on. Thick socks would be better. Don't try pantyhose in your little stockinged feet with your little Lord Fauntleroy buckle, bu- uh, buckle on the side, because um, you probably break a leg trying to clean a carpet if you wear those things in um. 2022. I got my 2022 buckle on my shoe. <laughs> so go like that. And then before the landlady, the, the evil landlady who's trying to evict you because you're a bit messy, 
kicks you out into the street. Do this, do this. And look, this is a good one. I pretend I'm playing football. We call it soccer. Oh, you call it soccer too, don't you? You American little shits. I love you. But you're going to have to learn a lesson because we're all count- when we're all dead, we're all counting on you to um, bring children who are as innocent as you are now <laughs> to make things right um, from the wrongs. Everyone's been wronged. Trust me. Uh, and listen, I, I love, um, who do I love? Uh, Benny Goodman, uh, um, Peter Chris, Jew Callington. Oh, he was amazing, wasn't he, Jew Callington? I think they named a fucking school after that bloke, didn't they? I better check on Google, if Google lets me. Um, so, kids, um, you have some very sweet people who have made a lot of sacrifices to get you in your beautiful, well-decked-out... <laughs> I wish I went to a school that looked like that. Oh, my God, it looks like a bloody... um. I don't know, where Mozart um, goes to have a nap of an evening, you know, who, and he listens to children play music, and that's what inspires... He doesn't touch the children, because he's a child himself, obviously. Have you guys seen that um, movie called Amadeus? That crazy guy, he plays piano, but he's got this funny wig on, and he has to put the wig on just to keep the bloody, the rich people happy, you know? Um, so, yeah, I love Dave Chappelle, um, kids, uh, students of um, Duke Ellington, is it School of Performing Arts or something? I hope it is, because <laughs> that way it doesn't sound official, what I'm, the bullshit I'm talking, you know? And uh, there was this um, controversy, or controversy, that... Um, they didn't want to put this man's name on a fucking wall. The wall he's been sacrificing his whole life to tear down and it's finally been built so you guys can learn how to play an instrument without getting shot by a fucking crack dealer. And all you can say is he has his own ideas about what um, a gender is. Or what's your agenda? Not yours, kids, because kids don't have agendas, or, nor should they. Nor should they be made to believe that they are invested to have a fucking agenda. Please, um, people, teachers of all variations who teach at that school, um, explain, um, well, you know what to explain, um, but I'm here to help, and if I have to fucking prove to you that I'm one of you little kids, I don't identify as non-binary, because it means nothing. If you want me to come to your school and explain why non-binary means nothing, I'd be happy to do so, but, <coughs> excuse me, kids, I need to cough. <coughs> so I've put my, um, Coughed into my elbow onto my woolen jumper, my cardigan, my pullover, my uh, my my tea, my um, well, tea is not quite. You, if you want to spit on your own elbow, you can do it. Just wipe it off and then do it while no one's looking back on your jeans, on your back pocket. Ah, oh shit! Someone saw me um, drool. So what do I do? Is wipe it off with your elbow, or you can do it um, succinctly. Do it with your, your with your index finger. Wipe it across the um the um. <laughs> What your mouth has just excreted, and then um, what you do is you wipe it on the back of your um. I hope Levi's at least are, made, are still made in fuck in the USA. Um, wipe it on your Levi's tag on the back of your just underneath where your suicide belt goes. You know, during of the Bible belt of um of misguided fucking um. Oh, the Bible says this, and the Bible says that. <laughs> that's that's a story for the adults, kids. Um, that's where well, that's where us adults need to be. We need you learning how to play beautiful instruments, doing nice drawings, and being kind to one another, and expanding your empathy because you know what if everyone was gay or a rainbow think of it kids think of it rationally if everyone was like you want everyone to be there wouldn't be a world in two generations because if you don't i'm going to say a naughty word fuck a woman and make a baby um well basically that's the end of life on earth isn't it i mean i know people like um you kids love the the sci-fi and the wi-fi and <laughs> Wife, I am. What was that one? Two, three, four. Yeah, that's wife number nine. Love my wife number nine. Oh, Jesus. Right. So, um, like I said, kids, um, let me put my own cigarette out on me. Um, bean shaped bread. I didn't have to put it out. It went out by itself. Oh, well, that's right. I need light. Oh, oh, I'm getting my Mexican maid to come and clean the dishes soon, kids. Isn't that great? That. I can be very artsy farsy, but then that Mexican bitch has to clean all my shit. I love it. It's great. I'm, uh, the, the levels of selfishness I feel, I almost feel like I'm. I don't know how I feel anymore. I haven't knowing that some poor woman with um who's a, who's um, managed to um swindle her way through the fucking um gates of uh, hell via um, Juarez and El Paso. 
is um, cleaning my shit for me because I'm a little artiste, a non-binary artiste, right? Is this fucking thing on? Soon will be. Ah! No, don't do that, kids. That's a broken glass. It, it was a prop from before. It's got, um, I like it because it's Heineken and they're a Dutch, I think, beer company. And um, <laughs> when you drink enough beer, you don't really give a fuck where the beer comes from. Um, but... Uh, what I love about it is the double entendre of the beer company who doesn't he doesn't mind if you get liver cancer or failure from being a, or cirrhosis. <laughs> hopefully it doesn't get to all full blown cancer. Um hopefully it just stops its cirrhosis and um <laughs> Oh Jesus. And I love these kids because at Christmas time, because it's very um religious and they believe it, they're very Jesus y these corporations, um they put a um Soviet star on a Dutch fucking windmill um beer glass, and I'm grateful because I drink beer. See, but you shouldn't because you're you should be busy doing art and color crayons and not color. Well, how old are you kids? Fourteen, fifteen? I don't fucking know. But um seriously, Dave Chappelle is the least of your worries. In fact, that guy has got a heart and a soul of gold. You know, seriously, I better put this up before I break it, kids. This symbol of socialism via da Dutch famine uh, during Nazi times. Right. Maybe Heineken was trying to tell us something. That it's better to get pissed in company than fucking on your own. <laughs> I don't know what it is. Oh, fuck the coffee. Where's my cigarette lighter? <clears throat> don't smoke, kids. And if you're going to do it, go behind the bike sheds um, at school when there's no teachers. <sighs> oh, fuck. Mrs. Mrs. Whatever her name is, is, uh, is coming. Quick. She's wearing her platform um, shoes. <laughs> Cork platform shoes from 1972s. Um... Lucky her size shoes twos ain't size twenty twos, <laughs> cause then what do you want me to do? Give you a foot rub and it looks like I'm fucking um massaging um <laughs> Fred Flintstone's dog's girlfriend um diner, Dino in a diner. Hi, would you like a foot rub under the table while I'm? Give me all your money and I'll shoot every last motherfucking one of you. <laughs> Can you imagine that um Dick Dale shit um remixed by um Duke Kellington's band? <laughs> oh, you know what I mean. Use your imagination, kids, you know. That's what you're there for. Not to um defend the rights of overly sexualized adults. Um that's <laughs> the crux of the matter. Love you, Screaming Eagle. But I'm not going to close on that point, Screaming Eagle, because I have one more thing to say to the kids. All right, children of the Duke of Ellington Performing Arts School, who um, were or are, or hopefully not are, adverse to having their most glorious champion in their fucking corner. Like, if you guys were boxers, little transgender boxers, <laughs> and you were getting your fucking face punched to the fuck by some Brutus on the other side, because you haven't had your spinach yet, your pink spinach, you know who, would I, who I'd want? <laughs> Giving me a fucking um, a massage and saying, all right, what you got to do is um, get your foot working a bit more, get him tired, um, and then what we'll do is um, you fucking, um, when you get a chance, um, <laughs> try the uppercut if that doesn't work, um, and, the, and the referee's not looking, try the elbow, <laughs> you know, or something, I don't know, no, you don't want to cheat in sport, kids, because then, um, then ESPN will call you a cheat. But they don't, they seem to like drug cheats, I mean... If they've got the lawyer to um fucking tell the world they're not a drug cheat. I mean, uh, this is getting a bit weighty, um, kids. This is getting a bit weighty for your rainbow-coloured backpack. And no one wants to put extra rocks and burdens on your young, unwhipped shoulders. Jesus Christ. Otherwise, the crow of death will come and get us all. And no matter how many energizers you got, <laughs> we'll all be dead. But there will be a lot of fucking lithium batteries lying around doing nothing. You know, just... Um, <laughs> Powering the sun, the sun will be going, oh, what the fuck am I supposed to do now? Nothing, I'm redundant, said the sun to the earth. Yeah, you sure are, because uh, we thought we could get a lithium battery to do the job for the sun. <laughs> I, I'm i not technical, kids. Like, I don't know how science works, obviously, otherwise I wouldn't be talking to you. <laughs> um, but I have, I have an interest in it. I, ooh. 
oh shit, I've cut my kneecap um, with a fucking uh, rusty nail. What do I do now? Oh, maybe a fucking tetanus shot would be happy. Uh, would make mum and dad happy so you don't all seize up from tet- tetanus. And tetanus. Um, I, I don't like wearing earplugs when I'm playing music. It's, that's one of the sacrifices of playing rock and roll is that you go deaf at some point. Otherwise, <laughs> I don't mind being deaf when I'm old if I'm having fun listening to fucking death metal when I'm fucking 16. Do you know what I'm saying, kids? Like, so really, you know, these kind of technologies, they're very, they're, they are very protective, but maybe a tad too protective, you know, as like fucking a Band-Aid uh, solution for a tropical infection, you know? Um, kids, Dave Spiller loves you, and I know he does, because, um, look, I'm going to say it again. All right, you win, kids. You want to put a label on me like I'm a fucking product in a supermarket, a rainbow price sticker, Okay, I'm non-binary too. Don't tell anyone. I, I, I'm I'm defenseless, and um, I someone might manipulate me and make me do sexual things in the street. If I if my parents were to die tomorrow and I had nowhere to live, I would be on the streets on my ass, thinking, how am I going to support myself? Well, I'm beautiful because children are beautiful. Well, I don't mean that sexually, but um, they are beautiful because that's if children aren't beautiful, what the fuck is, you know? <laughs> um, but then what? You'll find some evil person who who wants to um exploit your beauty and your innocence by turning you into an object of their desire you know you can't wait. i can't have that i'd rather die from table salt <laughs> um but make sure you brush your teeth or captain truth decay <laughs> um will make you go gay like some rapper with fucking uh, rainbow colored teeth can someone knock that cunt's teeth out or at least use a plastic um prop from a guatemalan jungle machine gun seriously you fucking faggot leech 69, no thank you, Takeshi, Takeshi, 69, what was Takeshi, no Takeshi, you're giving me a hernia, 69, no thank you, I'm discernia, listen cunt, listen to, listen to um, fucking shit like um, get back, get back, Get back to where you once belong. Yeah. Um, so yeah, kids, on a parting note, because I need to make my coffee, and as you've noticed, I haven't let me smoke yet, but I will, because um, one parting gift before hopefully God strikes me down with cancer, because I'm fucking late. Now, you might not like this, because you're a bit too young, but um, I do, and it's for adults, really. <laughs> it's an acquired taste. Um, whatever you do, do it with passion and zest, like... You like him? He's mustard. He's mustard, that boxer. He's mustard. What were you thinking, boom, gorgeous George in a bare knuckle fight with, um, what's his name? With, um, with a pike. I fucking ate those pikers. Oh, I love that movie. Snatch. There you go, children. You want to know how the world kind of works? Um, Snatch, uh, it's about um, people that dress up in different costumes to go and um, steal a diamond uh, back from um, cunts that have stolen it off black people in um, somewhere in Africa. I think they, they were called blood diamonds. Leonardo... Da Vincio might be able to tell you about that, and his dad, who seemed like a nice guy. I hope they're not into Scientologically proving science is real, you know, <laughs> at a price. Mm. Kids, <laughs> like, can someone edit this shit where I say the nice thing to, to the kids, la di di la di do, and then when I get fucking militant, fucking edit that shit out, because uh, otherwise I'm missing the point. Um, you royal Dutch cannibals on the Abrolis Islands. Oh, shit. I spilled some beer into my non-binary slippers. Which ones? I've got many non-binary slippers here. Hey, let's spin the bottle, see if I can get it. Uh, someone who loves me. I don't care what they look like. I do kind of care what they look like. I mean, I'm not going to fuck the elephant man and say, you, oh my God, thank you, Bridget Bardot. Where have you been all my life? I say, let's go. Oh, damn. He landed on the COVID mask right next to the fucking broom. Oh, near my um, near my winter tights. <clears throat> These are my ballerina things. Don't tell anyone. I wanted to be a ballerina when I was a kid. Who doesn't? <laughs> so pretty, you know, and gracious. And uh, do you know how much strength it takes to hold your fucking whole body weight on your tippy toes? <laughs> right. Um. See, kids, 
this is the lesson I have no lesson. I have no children of my own. So well, who am I saying this for? Uh, my imaginary child that I love and fucking don't want to see get hurt. You know? Semester, so I didn't even notice uh, the evil kitchen Soviet gulag lady put the cleaning product. <laughs> I must have been drunk already or something, but um, I'll, she's coming around at you know while, so I better shut the fuck up and do the dishes. Um, kids, listen, if you need me to dress up in lingerie and put a unicorn thing on my forehead and write the Dave Chappelle School of uh, the Performing Arts or whatever it was, I'm quote, I'm misquoting myself again. I'll be there in a jiffy. Love you. Use your brains.